Martin Odegaard has absolutely resurrected his career at Arsenal. At just 24 years old, Martin Odegaard already has 10 years of professional experience and has played for 7 clubs. Currently, Martin Odegaard is one of the best midfielders in the world, but this has not always been the case for him. At one point, he was even being considered a bust. How did Martin Odegaard become a prodigy, almost flop, then become one of the best midfielders in the modern game? Martin Odegaard was born on December 17, 1998, in Drammen, Norway. Two parents, Hans Erik, a former footballer, and Len Cecil Odegaard. Odegaard's father continued to work around football, where a young Martin would fall in love with the game. Then, in 2005 in Drammen, Martin would join his first academy, and eventually would make his way to the academy at Strömgötzet, where there he would learn how to become a great playmaker. Martin consistently played with the boys two to three years older than he was, more often than not embarrassing the competition. One of his coaches even said, it wasn't the first time Martin had astonished his opponents or spectators. He was about three to four years younger, but it was impossible not to realize that we were witnessing something completely out of the ordinary. Martin was already a brilliant playmaker who had great skills and made good choices on the pitch. Odegaard would climb his way all the way up to the second team, playing there on a consistent basis, where at just 15 years old he would make his debut for the first team. He was the youngest player ever to play in the Norwegian top flight. A few weeks later, on May 15, 2014, he would sign his first professional contract with Strongwota. Martin was officially Norway's wonder kid. He would end his debut season with 5 goals, 7 assists, and 23 appearances as just a 15-year-old. Around this time, Martin would also become the youngest player to represent Norway in a match against the United Arab Emirates, where at just 15 years and 253 days old, he came on as a substitute. Odegaard would begin training with big name clubs from all over the world that summer, as eventually he would get the opportunity to choose where he would want to go to next. And choose he did, as he chose the most prestigious, but perhaps the most difficult. Martin Odegaard would sign with footballing powerhouse Real Madrid on January 21st, 2015, for a reported fee of 4 million euros. Upon arrival, Martin would be training with the first team and the reserves. On May 23rd, 2015, Odegaard would sub in for the first team for the legendary Cristiano Ronaldo, making him the youngest player ever to play a match for Real Madrid, and he was only 16 years and 157 days old. Odegaard would not continue the season playing much for the first team, but he was a regular starter for Real Madrid Castilla. After his first year at Real Madrid, it was decided Odegaard was good enough to play top flight football, but maybe not quite for a team of the caliber of Real Madrid quite yet. So on January 10th, 2017, Martin would be sent to Dutch club SC Hedenveen on a one-year contract. The young midfielder would make his Eredivisie debut, coming on as a last-minute substitute in a 2-0 win over Otto Den Haag. Although a young Martin would tell the media he was not bothered by the loan move, it was quite obvious in his play as he would start his first seven matches with no goals and only one assist. This would lead him to getting a lot of time on the bench, but in that offseason, Martin would put in the work to earn the starting spot back. He realized that solely being talented was not enough to get him to the top. He would display an insane work ethic that he still carries to this day. After the first year, Real Madrid still decided he was not ready, so they kept him in the Eria de Vici, but this time at SBV Vitesse. Here Odegaard would really begin to shine and earn himself 11 goals, 12 assists, and was also voted the player of the season. He would finally get the opportunity to demonstrate his range of passing, his technical ability, and his creativity, having the best season of his career so far at that point. On June 7, 2019, Odegaard would score his first senior goal for Norway in a match against Romania in a Euros qualifier. Martin would continue to grow and improve as a player, but Real Madrid, for some reason, was still not convinced possibly because they already had so much insane talent. Martin would be sent on his third consecutive loan spell, this time to La Liga, where he would really get the opportunity to shine with a competitive team at Real Sociedad. This was the ultimate test for Martin to show Real Madrid he could compete with top tier players. The opportunity to shine was there and he absolutely took it. Odegaard would finally grow into his own, 
beginning to demonstrate the magnitude of his skills, goals, assists, and clutchness. His talent would quickly show, and he was even named La Liga Player of the Month in September 2019. But the ultimate sign for Real Madrid came in February 2020, where Odegaard would score against his parent team, Real Madrid, helping his lone club defeat the Spanish powerhouse. Real Sociedad would finish the season in 6th place, earning them a spot in the Europa League. And everybody knew at Real Sociedad that Martin was clearly a part of their success that season. The following year, Real Sociedad wanted to have Odegaard back, but Real Madrid recalled him from the loan, seeing potential value. It seems like things were finally getting better for Odegaard, as he would start in Real Madrid's 2020-21 opener. But things would come crashing down as he was sent back to the bench. Martin and his agent, knowing their worth, demanded a trade during the winter transfer window knowing that easily he could be a starter on another competitive team. Real Madrid would accept and send Martin on his fourth loan spell, where he would head to Premier League side Arsenal. Odegaard was a huge fan of new coach Mikel Arteta and loved the idea of playing for a young team that could compete for Europe. While on loan, Odegaard made sure he showed Arsenal what he was capable of. Mikel Arteta quickly came to find out that Odegaard had something special, and he wanted him as one of the pieces in the plan he had for Arsenal. Just three days after signing on January 30th, 2021, Odegaard would make his debut for Arsenal in a match against Manchester United. Martin would score his first goal for Arsenal in a Europa League match against Olympiacos. This reinvigorated form of Martin would continue, and soon the assist and goals would also come. Martin would be voted Arsenal's Player of the Month in March 2021 and would go on to win the Gunners' hearts. Arsenal, being so impressed by the young Norwegian, would eventually offer him his own contract, taking him off the hands of Real Madrid, realizing the potential in the young star. Arsenal offered a four-year deal worth around 35 million euros. Honestly, for the player he is, an absolute bargain. Odegaard and Arsenal would finish in fifth place that season, just missing the Champions League. This offseason, we would see the departures of former captain Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Alexander Lacazette. The 2021-22 season was surely a transitional year, not only for Arsenal and Mikel Arteta, but also for Martin Odegaard. Arteta named Martin Odegaard the new captain for the 2022-23 season, and a few months before this, he was also named the captain for the Norwegian national team. All of Martin's hard work was finally paying off, and he would be on his way to have the best season of his career so far. 2022-23, was a season that Martin Odegaard truly blew up. As this season, Mikel Arteta trusted him, free reign of the midfield, where he would prove his worth, protecting and guiding the ball up and down the pitch for Arsenal. Odegaard currently has been on his best form, scoring 15 goals and having seven assists for the Gooners. But honestly, what's most impressive is what isn't reflected on the stat sheet. Martin has shown world-class vision and dribbling, making him a nightmare for the opposition. He even thinks so well sometimes his teammates don't even know it's coming. But in all fairness, Martin Odegaard is a Premier League star, and his career, although it is 10 years long, I believe we are only seeing the beginning of Martin El Rey Odegaard, also known by many as the Norwegian Messi. For those of you who don't know, this video was literally made because of you guys. Woo! The subscribers on my channel participated in a poll and Martin Odegaard was selected to have a video done on him. So guys, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe and join the FC Madruga family. Later.